Trellick has been working on a small project focusing on regional integration in the SADC region, so Southern African Development Community. And we were particularly interested to take a look at what happens in terms of national policy development in the 15 member states and whether that actually supports the objectives of regional integration. So we focus, for example, on national trade policies. We focus on labor market policy. We also had, had a look at regulation and services sectors, agricultural policy, and so on, to see whether, in fact, the member states are consonant in terms of their national policy imperatives, and are those actually supporting the broader integration objectives of, of SADC. Regional integration matters for Africa and for the Southern African countries in particular um, because they are all very small, fragmented countries. And if you take a look at the possibilities for industrial development, for example, these are largely circumscribed by the small markets, small economies, and certainly the availability of imports, resources, and so on, are a major constraint. So regional integration makes sense for Africa in general. Um, it also makes sense for Southern Africa, and the Southern African countries have been working on a regional integration agenda for many, many decades. In fact, a subset of, of SADC, of course, is the Southern African Customs Union, and they've been working on regional integration for more than 100 years. More recently, they've adopted what can be argued to be a more developed developmental approach to regional integration, which has become very important for SADC, is focused anchors on three pillars, market integration, so that's very much the traditional agenda of liberalizing trade among the member states, infrastructure development, which of course is particularly important to facilitate not only intra-regional trade, but also to facilitate production linkages and so promote investment agglomeration in the region. And then the industrialization pillar for regional integration recognizes that the capacity to produce tradables is perhaps the most important constraint that African countries, including the SADC member states, face. So enhancing their capacity to produce competitively goods and services that they can trade amongst one another, but also export, export to the rest of the world is particularly important. The main findings really point to a number of, of challenges that we do face in terms of domestic implementation of regionally agreed objectives and, and commitments. And um, there's no enforcement mechanism in terms of a regional body which can enforce national implementation. And of course, the quality of the regional integration project will depend on what extent it is implemented at national level. So you do find, for example, that domestic regulations in, in certain respects related to, and a very good example um, is sanitary and phytosanitary measures, which are very important for agricultural trade in the region. You find, for example, that there are restrictions which are, are managed in terms of national policy and legislation, which really go against the commitments that member states have undertaken at regional level. A very good example is um, the export of Zambian honey to South Africa. Zambia produces really good organic honey. Um, if that honey is irradiated, it loses its organic status. But until very recently, South Africa required that that honey had to be irradiated before it could enter the South African market. So this is a good example of a domestic regulation, um, which was certainly particularly important in preventing intra-regional trade in, in the case of SADC. The contribution that Trello can make to, to a partnership with UNUIDA is that Trello works in the region on a daily basis. So our knowledge of the regional political economy dynamics is particularly important. We also have a team of lawyers and economists, and this interdisciplinary approach to regional integration is particularly important because very often it is the implementation of the regulations, of the agreements, or their non-implementation, which will determine whether we have a successful regional integration project. And I think this is particularly important. As far as you and you wider is concerned, they bring an amazing network of experts, not only in the region, but further afield. And that expertise can certainly play a very important role in challenging Trelloc to address issues which are not usually part of our agenda.